Hello my loves, welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. Today we are going to draw in my sketchbook for Zeke Tober. I went really quiet with Zeke Tober, obviously because same old, same old, I'm just doing way too much. But the good news is we're gonna catch up with the Zeke Tober project. Stay tuned, I will explain what Zeke Tober is if you're unfamiliar uh, because I didn't talk about it all too much on YouTube. Mostly talked about it a lot more on Instagram. So head over to Instagram as well and follow me over there so you can stay up to date with all the Zeke stuff. It's just a lot quicker for me to get information out to you through Instagram. Before we head into this week's video, some very exciting things that just came in the mail. Last week and for the last couple of weeks I've just been hinting here and there about the Kickstarter that will be happening at the end of November. If you're new here I'm working on a tarot card deck where I make 78 original artworks that will later on be printed in a tarot card deck with actual tarot cards in a box. It's all gonna be gold foil, gold edging, colorful, incredible. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe. And if you want to catch up with the project, I have a tarot card playlist down below. Be completely informed of all the cards and the creation of each card. We are hosting a mini Kickstarter project and there are two tiers in the Kickstarter. One is a set of two gold foil prints, gold foil highlight prints, super limited edition. You won't be able to get them anywhere else. I've never done gold foil art prints before. They're pretty much the most special art prints I've ever made. Honestly, the most limited edition prints ever. If you're unfamiliar, limited edition prints can increase quite a lot in value later down the track. So think of it as an investment. Everything will be hand signed, stamped, numbered. So if you do want to sell it in the future, I'm just gonna say it right now, like it is a bit of an investment. That's the whole point. There's also going to be a second tier where you get the gold foil art prints and a art banner as well. My video last week, I'll pop it in the description below so you can catch up at the end of the video. I explained it all in a lot more detail. Let's look at these prints. <laughs> so number one art print is The Devil. By the way, I'm going to be talking about this Kickstarter for the next six weeks. So if you're still confused or whatever, don't worry. I will be continuously telling you about the mini Kickstarter. I just want to show you what came in the mail. The beautiful, gorgeous proofs, the gold foil prints. They look incredible. I'm super excited about them. I haven't photographed them just yet. So you guys are seeing them first, which is very exciting. And then also the lovers. So you can see the writing on the bottom is in gold foil, lots of incredible gold foil details, some added stars as well to really add some extra sparkle. I think the two together look fantastic. We chose the devil and the lovers because they are very similar in composition. I just think both of them together are going to be super complimentary and gorgeous together. So very excited to show you guys and um, subscribe so you don't miss out on when the mini Kickstarter launches to grab these. Okay, that's enough promo. Let's head into the video. Hello everyone. It's been such a long time since I've done some sketchbook drawing. I know it's highly requested. People really enjoy that content. I have to admit my content on YouTube has been a hard flop lately. So let's just get back to our roots and do some sketchbook stuff. As you can see, I've hardly drawn in my sketchbook. Been obviously focusing on the tarot card project. This is the last spread that I did in the sketchbook. If you have not seen this video, I will We'll pop a link in the description if you want to catch up or if you want to re-watch. I know a bunch of you guys like to re-watch a couple of videos. Here is a sketch that I did for the Batman piece. Also a video on that in the description if you want to catch up. But yeah, we're going to do some sketchbook drawing. Basically, we're going to do a big old catch up. I'm going to explain Zeke and what happened with Zeke So let me get my phone. So back in the beginning of October, I was hosting Zeke which is a drawing art prompt. If you are new to the art community online, there is usually a tradition of doing a daily art prompt in the month of October. This trend began with Inktober. It's kind of a little tradition in the art community online to do an art prompt. So mine was, and I'll just pop it up on screen. Mine was a, you know, kind of character design challenge. Typically you do it every single day, but 
because I already have experience hosting and even trying to achieve an art prompt challenge. I had experience with the April art challenge, a bunch of videos on my channel uh, explaining that, but that is basically the same thing, but just done in April. Because I already had experience doing that and chatting to you guys and seeing what's achievable, mine was staggered throughout all the weekends. And even with the staggered prompts spread throughout the month, I still found it very challenging to actually catch up and stay up to date with everything, even you know with the routine that I was doing, which I will explain further in a moment. To everybody who was able to actually do the Zeektober challenge, well done and congratulations, you did amazing and I'm super proud and I feel like at the end I was really burnt out and really fumbled the ball and just, you know, as usual, trying to do too much, doing videos, doing my tarot card project. I fell behind and hopefully today we are going to catch up. It's already the second week of November, but uh, hey, better late than never, right? I wanna demonstrate to you guys what is actually achievable and giving you a realistic look of what art making is all about. So the way I've been doing Zeektober is I have been drawing them on the iPad Pro. My challenge or what I've kind of set out to do was to do a bunch of drawings that were all under an hour digitally. You can see here, I still have like one little piece left to do here. If you guys want me to chat further about any of these, please feel free to leave a comment and I will happily do a video about these because it is done on the iPad Pro and I can do like a little summary video on each drawing. Yes, I still have one digital drawing left to do which I probably won't do in this video comment below if you want it so I can chat further about all the little pieces I was playing around with the idea of popping all of it on a t-shirt it could be really cute with one more design in the middle I don't know that's what I was playing around with I really wanted to focus on quantity rather than quality I still think every drawing has a lot of personality and movement in it but they may not be you know the fully rendered artworks that you guys are used to I kind of just did this as a way to challenge myself to see if I can with a really strict deadline of just doing one illustration in under an hour I was interested to see what that looks like for Zeke's lunchbox in the future I definitely want to make a lot more merchandise and in order to do a bunch of t-shirt designs I need much more simple flat colored designs so I'm just trying to play around with that and see what that looks like for the Zeke's lunchbox brand but yeah all of that's to evolve in the future thank you for listening to all of the context and all the background I feel like I always have to give so much context to everything because it's a lot of information but thank you for listening to all of that let's head into what we are doing today I still have six more prompts to do the fluff one is going to be a digital one that I will probably do elsewhere but now I have clench brood sharp ear and layers and that is what we are going to do in the sketchbook today I have no idea what I'm going to do for each one but we're going to find out Okie dokie, so I've written a list of all the prompts that I need to do. I'll probably do it on this spread here and just cover up everything because, sorry, the birds are going insane today because it is spring in Australia. Yeah, I'll probably just draw over all of this and try and fit all of them in here. You know, in fact, I'll probably end up like covering the writing or what have you. I don't know. I always say I'm going to do a bunch of stuff and then as soon as I get working, plans could change but yes I will try and get all of these done and sketch them all out and let's um let's just get into it for clench I will probably do like a hand holding some flowers just going to keep it super simple brood this one I think a bunch of people had problems with because they weren't sure which road to go down and what definition they wanted to use so half the people did like a brooding deep dark moody vibe and then the other half did more of a cluster of birds which you know for this prompt list there is nothing right or wrong you can take it in whatever interpretation you wish sharp look I was thinking of doing like a girl with like very jaggedy sharp teeth I have another sketch that I've already done a couple of years ago that's very similar that's coming to mind we'll probably just do another girl with big ears and layers I was thinking of doing a face with a bunch of layered masks not sure yet. Uh, I'm gonna just sketch and listen to some tunes. Once the sketches are done, I'll check in with you guys.
Society, everybody. After a couple of years of drawing in these sketchbooks, uh, by the way, I have the same sketchbook that I draw in all the time. <laughs> I will pop the kind of sketchbook that I have because a lot of people ask about it. And also, as you can see, it lays down nice and flat so you can do big, broad scenes, which is what we are aiming for here. These two last sketches are ear and sharp. Sharp teeth, big ear. I'm gonna start with the watercolor base for these. Or once I get to the stage where they need to dry a little, I will then sketch up the other pieces so I can save on time and work on speed and quantity. Two things that are very underrated when it comes to making art. Mediums that I will be using. Very similarly to what I've done here, I start with a watercolor base. Where's my watercolor palette? Watercolor palette, this is a custom palette that I've put together. I will put a link in description of all the different little mini palettes that I have taken apart and put into one big mega palette. And I'll put a link in for the little cakes and then also the tray. So that's what I do my base with. I will also put the pencils that I use. I just like the same Faber-Castell polychromos pencils. They're usually sold at all the art stores. And then I will be using a bunch of Poskas just because Poskas are really good for getting big sharp blobs of color directly and quickly. So that's what I will be using. If I need to add a couple of highlights, I'll probably use a Matisse acrylic, a nice high viscous acrylic paint. Lots of people ask about the acrylic paint that I use. You don't necessarily have to use Matisse, you just have to use a high viscous acrylic paint. Usually each tube is around, you know, 15 to 25, even 30. Not the cheap sludgy sort of stuff that are really, really thick paint, high concentrated pigment and high concentrated texture. So those are all the mediums. Let's get to painting. Happy with the direction so far, very early days, but hopeful with the way everything will turn out. I did erase the sketch behind there. I just, I feel like the piece is done and everything's recorded digitally now, so there's no point in keeping it around because I don't particularly love it. I do enjoy these two little thumbnails that I will keep along to remind me of some possible future positions for mermaid portraits in the future. Layers. Did a bunch of stacked masks scenario deal. I've kind of tackled this idea in another piece and an old, old video on this channel that I will link below as well, where I did a portrait with a couple of masks surrounding um, the woman's face. Just an idea that I'm trying to play around with. Everything's an experiment. That's the whole point of the challenge and the whole point of just playing around in my sketchbook. Here I've done two in one. So clench holding the flower and then brood. So the face is looking a little janky so far, but like a little flower head and the character is brooding and cranky for being possibly awoken from their slumber as a flower or just angry that they've been picked. I've gotten them all now, right? I've got clench, brood, sharp, ear and layers. Yes, all five things all popped into one. I don't know, I've gone to a nice comfortable stage in my skills where I feel like I can rely on a reference, but also I feel confident enough to draw on my own and kind of freestyle. So yeah, let's get to it. Nice comfortable spot and uh, let's, let's get to drawing. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, you guys, we are at the end of the video. Nothing unusual or uh, specific that I need to promote and um, just a regular old outro telling you guys have a nice day and like my video. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe so you are informed of the Kickstarter and so you can see all the incredible things that we're working over in Zeke's Launchbox Town. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, art related, Kickstarter related, Zeke-tober art related. If you participated in Zeke-tober, comment below as well. I want to know how many people who are watching did the Zeke-tober challenge. I want to know and hear your story and how you went with the challenge. Thank you so much for watching. Make Make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you guys next week. Bye.